And here, near Apogee, we gimbal the engine to exert a torque that executes a pitch-over maneuver to flip the rocket by 180 degrees. Well, that's very impressive. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm not done. Oh. Uh, sorry. Needless to say, we use a PID controller to minimize the dispersions to the landing site. Anything else? Yes. I'd like a glass of water. It's time to take my Zantac. You've been in there quite a while. Well, if the topic is science, it can be a real chatty patty. I'm bored. Me too. Hey. Someday somebody's gonna write a book about Sheldon. Don't you want there to be a chapter about how loving and supportive you two were? Doesn't matter. I ain't reading it. This is groundbreaking work. Thank you. And? And? I thought you might want to apologize. Well, why? You tried to shut me up with a patch. Well, <laughs> I give those to everyone. And, and you have to understand, Sheldon, that, that while your math is, is theoretically correct, we don't have the technical capability to execute it. So I'm ahead of my time. Well, it would appear so. All right, call me when you catch up. Okay. We can go now. First time, SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX founder Elon Musk called the event an incredible milestone in the history of space. Elon, the CNN reporter's here to talk to you. Hang on. Send him in. 